guys, so I'm going to put this in the camera for just a minute because as usual, I'm going to blab for just a minute. I'm going to try and not cough through this video. I had to bleach the shower today. I hate using using bleach because it seems to permeate, permeate the rest of the house. Like, it just... I don't know why bleach is just so toxic and so strong. I hate to use it, but it's like the only thing that we can use in our shower to just really get it, keep like the mold and mildew and stuff at bay. I know that sounds disgusting, but it's so weird. It's like our other shower, no problem. And our bathroom is pretty big and it's got a big light source in it. So I don't know how we get, like I just don't know how our shower just gets, it's how the, like the mold even starts. You know what I mean? It's not that bad, but there's just like little like spots of it and you have to just bleach it or it'll just stay there. So. I am bleaching the bathroom and trying not to die in the process, which is a bad mixture for me. <laughs> for me. So if I sound spacey or things aren't making sense, that might be why. I'm just saying. Yeah, I should be okay, but... Okay, so empties. I, I have not done a video in a while because my daughter just got home and she started school on a bunch of other stuff. So I've been melting, but I have not been melting quite as fast just because I don't want to forget the scents. I, I don't like to do videos when I'm not sure what I'm talking about, which is probably pretty often actually. And I don't know. I just like to really focus in on the scent and give a good review of it. Cause I know I like to go in and type in, you know, a scent name or a, a vendor name. And I like to find that scent and see what people thought of it. Or, you know, I just, I like to do that. What was else was I going to say? Oh, I'm going to go ahead and start with my top just things that kind of just blew me away. Things that I enjoyed, like my top vendors for this week, I think. And as you can see, Super Tarts is one of them because it's my first. Now, this scent right here, <clears throat> Anastasia, it was not my favorite scent, but Super Tarts in general just blew me away this week or the last couple weeks or the last three weeks, however long it's been since I did a warm review melt video. What else was I going to say? Oh yes, I have also figured out and just like in within the groups and just talking with people and stuff that I need to just focus in on like three vendors and buy from three vendors only. And like on the regular basis is what I'm saying is I'm just going to focus in on like two or three vendors and just buy from those people only and the other people I'll buy from occasionally but I have got to I really need to start melting through stuff and I know you hear people say this all the time when when they you know in the wax community and what have you is that we all need to stop buying and warm more and we have too much and you know this and that so yeah, that's what I need to do. I really need to just... Super Tarts is really killing me right now with her ready-to-ship stuff. I know a lot of people say that, but it's true. It's like every week she comes out with something and I'm like... I'm really starting to figure out, though, what scents I like and what I don't. So that's kind of helping with that process to narrow down scents and whatnot. So... Also, the other thing is I'm finding that scents that I purchased like way back when, like maybe a year or so ago, I'm not as fond of as I was before. So I really need to be aware of that as well when I'm buying things that I need to remember, hey, how long is it going to be until I warm this? And am I still going to like the scent then? You know what I mean? So I'm trying to be a little bit more thoughtful and more careful. So, okay, so let's get into this. So this first one here is Super Tarts. Anastasia. I always want to say Anastasia, but it's Anastasia. And this is English breakfast tea, weak and black, plum and powder sugar. This was mostly dominant to me on the plum and it was like a sweet plum is what I want to say. Cat hair on there. So now I had my daughter, this is interesting, I had my daughter go up to the warmer and I was like, put your nose over that and tell me what you smell. Because I was having trouble, I couldn't tell if I was smelling tea or not. So I had her put her nose up to it and she said, I smell like a dark berry. And I'm like, okay, I'm like, do you smell anything else? And she's like, I think I smell spices. So I was like, okay. <laughs> so I think maybe she was smelling spicy, possibly from the tea. I've never considered tea to be like a spicy scent, but I think maybe her nose was just picking up a little bit of tea and thinking it smelled spicy to her. So 
but I was having trouble smelling the tea portion of this. And to me, that was kind of a bummer because to me, Super Tarts is kind of known, she's kind of known, Brandy's known for her complex blends and really making something interesting to me. And this to me was just more of like, just a sweet plum. So that was a little bit disappointing. Now in the clam, it smells pretty good. But on warm, it's, and also the other thing is on warm, it smelled like the plum was just, it was kind of irritating my nose a little bit. I think it, because it smelled a little bit fake. Not, I mean, not fake, like really bad, but just, it just wasn't, it wasn't um, a scent I'm going to repurchase or, I just don't think I like plum scents. Now, let's see. Oh, the other one I warm from Super Tarts. This one, Dobby. I'm thinking about going back for a second of this. And I will tell you why. So this is Linen Sock, Ocean Mist, and New Grass. Now, on a clamshell, on cold, <clears throat> it smells, sorry, it smells very complex. Now, on warm, it kind of wasn't as complex, but it still smelled really good. So here's the thing about this one. So this one is very strong on the linen sock and the dune grass. I actually went and looked up to see what dune grass was because I was like, there's something else going on in here. It's not just a straight laundry or like a linen. Now I think linen and laundry are two very different scents. Like linen is much different than what I would consider laundry. They smell somewhat similar, but I think they're different. So remember that linen sock has a different scent than laundry. So I was getting mostly linen sock and the dune grass. And I was like, dune grass must be a complex scent because this, it was almost like a sweet linen scent. Uh, the ocean mist, I don't really remember that too well. It is in there, but I think the linen and the dune grass are kind, kind of take over is, or at least what I read for dune grass. Now, Dune grass, I swear I wrote that scent description down somewhere because it's a really complex scent. <clears throat> it's bamboo leaf. Well, actually, I just looked up dune grass scented oil on Google just to see what it said. And it said bamboo leaf, lemon, verbena, bergamot, and lush orchid. So dune grass is a very complex scent. And I think that's what really made this scent so good was that dune grass has all those different components. So it was like a sweet linen and just a little bit of ocean mixed in there. It was really good. Uh, uh, so on warm, it kind of, like on cold, it smelled really complex and interesting. And on warm, it kind of, it was still good. And also another thing was too, it was strong and the scent just went on like for days it felt like. I mean, I finally turned it off and dumped it just because I was bored of it, but um, it kept going and it was like a sweet it almost had like a sweetness about it it was really nice I enjoyed that one a lot so Dobby I may have to go back in for let's see do I have any other super tarts here I have a hot mess is what I have okay uh, let me talk about these really quick I finished up a mango pink champagne body butter I'm not really doing body care on these anymore because uh, like my bathing garden, I would always talk about, but it, I mean, we pretty much know I love the bathing garden scrubs. There's really not much to talk about there, <laughs> but I thought I'd talk about the body butters really quick because uh, this one I had really good luck with. Sorry, I had to cough there. Uh, this one I did have really good luck with. This is mango pink champagne, and uh, she has since switched to a different container, I believe, a smaller container. And I just had really good luck. This one lasted, this one was over a year old and I was still ha being able to smell the mango pink champagne. I did have another body butter that did not, the scent did not last a year for me. This one, oh, and I like, I don't necessarily love the wax in this scent, but in body butter form, it was <clears throat> amazing. And if you've never had her body, buzz, bu uh, body butters before, they are a little bit greasy when you put them on, but they are so moisturizing. You can almost overlook that grease. I wouldn't just like, I would just try not to like sit on your furniture right away. I'd kind of let it sink in for a little bit, which is fine with me. I mean, I don't really mind, but this is good stuff. She's got a good product. And then also I wanted to talk about her sugar scrub. This is Ruby. I believe this is Biolage and I can't think of what else is in here. I want to say it's Biolaz, strawberry, and maybe like cotton candy or some sort of mixer scent in there. I can't remember. Her sugar scrubs are really, really good. 
I, they kind of feel like they're gritty at first and then when you start rubbing them down, they really start to like smooth out and so they're good for shaving, great for shaving. Uh, they're good, you know, really anywhere. Well, not, okay, <laughs> let's not go there, but not everywhere, but you know what I mean, like pretty much anywhere on your body that's not sensitive. Uh, great for shaving and so I will continue to use these along with some of my other products. Now I do have some other products that I like more for shaving but I would say this is up there in my top three for sure. So she's got a good product there. Okay what next? Oh my other big winner for this week was Tiffany Candles. So I think I believe I said in another video that I needed to start warming through my Tiffany Candles stuff to start because I had been ordering but I really hadn't melted anything of hers and I was like I keep ordering but I, I don't know how her wax performs so I should stop ordering if I'm not getting a good performance. So this is from her Salty Sea Air Sampler and it's Salty Sea Air, Seagrass and Sand Dunes and I believe this is similar kind of to the Dobby from Super Tarts with that dune grass even though it's called seagrass or sand dunes I kind of think they're kind of the same a little bit of the same scent because I could kind of smell the same things. Uh, so this is 1.8 ounces. It was a star. I cut it in half. And I put it in my computer room in two of my uh, Glade warmer. No, my 20 watt Glade warmer and my 20 watt Walgreens. I always feel like the Walgreens gives me a better throw, but the Glade warmer in this instance worked really well. I was really surprised at how strong this was. In fact, all the Tiffany's that I will be talking about was very strong. So I used a little bit under an ounce in each of the warmers that I had in the computer room. It was a good throw. It was, I think I put, the green notes were heavy in this one. Yeah. I feel like the, gra the seagrass was really strong in here. There's something green going on. I, I don't know that I got salty sea air all that much but this one I did warm a little while ago, but this is a beautiful scent. Spa, fresh, green, all that stuff. It was good. Let's see, let's put. <coughs> Sorry. Let me grab my other Tiffany's here. Okay, so also from Tiffany's, I did a three pack Teddy Tarts in Hush. This was so freaking good. So each of her Teddy Tarts are one ounce. I weighed them. And I did uh, two Teddy Tarts in my computer room as well. Hush is a mix of pink sugar and lavender vanilla. This one was so strong. It was coming out of the computer room into my living room. I could smell it everywhere. It was amazing. I This would definitely be on a reorder. I wasn't sure how I would like the lavender vanilla because I'm kind of over lavender at the moment. But something about this blend was just so beautiful and I don't know if I can still smell it in here. Her pink sugar is really good too, I have to say. This was just a good, good scent. If you like any of those scent notes, pink sugar and or lavender vanilla, I would say try this one anyways. It's a beautiful feminine scent. I would definitely reorder that one. Very, it was very, very strong. Also in Teddy Tarts, I have had this, sun-washed linen. Now I will say on, and this happened to me with Super Tarts as well, on cold, this smelled a little bit more complex than it did on warm. Now on warm, it was kind of just a laundry slash, I was kind of getting like a soap note off of it too, which was kind of weird because on cold, it smelled, on cold it smelled, uh, Hmm. I don't know, it just smelled more complex. It smelled like there was something else going on in there. This is a Yankee Candle dupe. I actually looked it up. This one was super strong as well. Her Teddy Tarts are also, I just said a minute ago, are one ounce each. So I use actually use this in my kitchen because my kitchen's kind of a weird zone that needs kind of a lot of wax. So I put one Teddy Tart in each of my 20 watt warmers and I got a good strong throw from this one as well. In fact, I probably could have Got, gotten away with only doing two. I have a second one of this one. Yeah, I have a second one of this one that I should probably use. This would probably be good to mix as well, since especially since it kind of gets a little bit of a soapy note on warm. But again, this one was super strong. Again, I was thoroughly impressed. I was just like, wow. 
I mean, I had always heard good things about Tiffany's, but I had never actually warmed it that much myself. So this is where also Teddy Tarts and Hawaiian Wind. And, oh, I did this in my kitchen as well. So I used all three Teddy Tarts. This, let's see, the scent description for this was Ocean. Okay, sorry, I had to cough again. So this is Ocean Winds and Tropical something or another. <laughs> My notes on this scent were not very good as far as the scent description. I like the ocean scent because it was kind of, it was like an ocean scent and then it had a hint of fruit. Is that what I put? A hint of like tropical fruit. Um, this one also had an excellent throw. It was a tad lighter than the Sun Wash Linen and the Hush, but overall it was still very strong. I did two Teddy Tarts. Let's see, did I, oh no, did I do this? No, I said I did this in my kitchen. So. I went ahead and used all three. This is a very pretty scent. It's not overly fruity on those tropical notes. And there's no like, I don't think there's any coconut or like um, pina colada or anything. It's just a really pretty scent as well. This one, I don't know that I would need again, but it was nice while I had it the first go. So sit. These don't want to sit nicely, do they? Okay, I'm trying to do this in some kind of order, but so far I'm not being successful. So I had just a little tiny small square of this Glitterati Grapesicle. And I didn't expect to like this very much, but I put it in my daughter's bathroom in her Scentsy plug-in warmer. And this is like an orange creamsicle, but with grape. So I usually don't like grape scents, but I did thoroughly enjoy this one. I got a strong throw off of this one as well. And I kept it in the warmer for quite a bit, and I, I mean, it kept going. It just kept getting stronger and stronger, I feel like, in there. I've had pretty good luck with Glitterati in general. Yeah, this one is, I mean, it's not, you cannot get that strong grape at all, which I really prefer. It's like a creamed out grape, uh, grape. I don't know why I just said grapesicle, but it's like an orange creamsicle, but with grape instead. So that's how I would describe that scent. For sure it was good not one that i would necessarily have to go out and repurchase or anything like that uh let's see oh this one was a winner as well this is haley's heavenly scent uh cotton blossom i don't know why i just showed you the inside of that that was weird <laughs> so cotton blossom is a bath and body work dupe and i did not know that this was a strong throw i actually got a walmart 24 watt warmer that's new for me. It was, I think it's from Mainstays. And I really want to try it out. And it threw this puppy good. Like this thing was strong. I did this in my computer room. I believe these are two ounce, two ounces. And maybe I was showing you the inside because there was no oil. Sometimes with Haley's Heavenly Scents, there's a lot, a lot of oil that sits on the bottom, but this one's pretty clean. So let's see. Uh, I looked up the scent description on this and it just said fresh and clean I believe was the scent and I would say that's what it is it's fresh and clean like a laundry scent it was pretty and it was a very strong throw in my computer room again with my new 24 watt okay so those were most of my strong throwers I had a few more that were decent as well but um, those were like right off the top of my head those are the ones that like probably through the strongest except for maybe Anastasia I would say that would be more of like a medium to high scent throw it wasn't like super strong which is good because I wouldn't want that plum to overtake anything anyways so this next one I had I had just a little teeny tiny tart in um, from two timing tart in drunk photography this is such a complex scent I wish I had been in the same room with this while it was warming so this is a three olive gin martini with a twist of yuzu this one is so hard to describe because it's just so complex. And when I was warming it, it just had this like beautiful scent, but I couldn't really describe what I was smelling. I would almost say, I did this in my daughter's room in a Scentsy warmer. I like to do like smaller things in like more closed off spaces. And my daughter's room is perfect for that. And I feel like Two Timing Tart does good in a Scentsy warmer. I need to try some of her stuff in like a Glade warmer and see how it performs also because I think it might might be a little bit stronger in a, a glade as well it seems like for some reason the higher wattages throw things better I don't know sometimes 
But anyway, so this, uh, I think I got mostly a, I almost want to say there was like a carbonation to this, kind of like, I think they put soda, some sort of soda water in a, do they? In an olive gin martini? I don't know. This is just, oh, I just can't even describe. I, it's just almost like a refreshing, not refreshing, but it's just a pretty complex scent. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's, I would kind of classify it maybe under like, if you were having a rough day and you needed something just to kind of calm you down, that I would say this would be one to go for. I would definitely get that one again if she ever came out with it or restocked it. Uh, let's talk about two timing tart really quick. I had two cubes left of Venetian Spa. I was trying to finish up some clam shells that were just kind of half empty or you know that only had two cubes in it. So I picked out Venetian Spa and I did two cubes in my daughter's room in her Scentsy Warmer. Gosh, my voice keeps going out. That bleach must really be killing me. I don't think it can I smell I can even smell it out here and our bathroom is like way back on the other side of the house and, and I've got the doors shut so god that stuff is toxic I hate it so Venetian spa is sparkling grapefruit sweet olives fresh watercress uh I think it says something about it being a great spa scent or something like that so this one is quite unique because you get like a it's almost a bitter grapefruit really or maybe it's the watercress in there. Something in here is kind of somewhat bitter. But you do get the olive and the grapefruit. Not like a grapefruit, like, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Like a tart grapefruit at all. It kind of just adds to the scent. But I think I'm mostly getting the olives and the watercress. It was a medium throw in my daughter's uh, Scentsy Warmer. Again, I wish I kind of would have put this maybe in a glade just to see how it did. But this is from last year or maybe a year before. I don't know. I'm not sure. So I've had that one for a while. Now, one that really kind of impressed me, and I, I'm, I don't know if it's still up on the site, but I might go get one if it's still there. Summer Melon and Mint. I had just one of those. It, was like, it looked like a little wreath, actually, like a donut wreath kind of. This is Summer Melon and Mint from the Bathing Garden. I got it in a sample, I want to say in my last order maybe. So it's fairly new. I put it in my daughter's bathroom in the Scentsy Plug-in Warmer. And so this was, I just put melon with mint, <laughs> which is so stupid. That was dumb. But really, I think the scent description is like guava. It, was, it said something like a bowl full of uh, cut melon. It was like, I don't know if it was honeydew, but I believe there was cantaloupe, guava, and strawberries with peppermint, I think is what it said. Um, I couldn't make out strawberries, but I could make out melon, and the mint was just super refreshing in here. The whole thing was just refreshing, and it was just a nice combination. I didn't expect to love this one, but this one also, I noticed as well, the longer it stayed in the Scentsy Warmer, the stronger it threw. So, like, I remember when I went back to check on it in, like, a couple hours, it was okay. It wasn't, like, like blowing me out of the room or anything it wasn't super strong but then I came back a little bit later and I noticed I used this for like three days not straight like with the warmer on 24 7 or anything I just turned it on you know every once in a while but every time I'd go in that bathroom it was just like this thing just kept going and going and going I could still smell it even after three days not you know again because some people will get on line or whatever and say yeah I had this going 24 hours for three days and it was still strong nothing like that it was just maybe I don't know I would say maybe five or six hours I probably had it on total maybe a little bit more I feel like I, I used it for like a good two or three days uh, I'm gonna stop right here <clears throat> okay my throat keeps like messing up so this is great it's just perfect Okay, so let's talk about front porch for a minute. So I know a lot of people have talked about an undertone from front porch. And to be honest, I have smelled an undertone before. But for some reason in this scent in particular, the undertone was strong in this one. I was just like, whoa, this is the undertone that everybody's been kind of talking about. And I don't know why it came out more in this scent than anything, but 
I don't know. I, you know, I've warmed her stuff before and not had a weird undertone. This one, for some reason, and I didn't say the description, is Cotton Candy Mallow Fruity Loops. You know, it's a good strong scent and all that. It, I mean, I did, um, you know, my normal amount in my, I did it in the computer room and I did one grubby in my daughter's Scentsy. And it was a good scent. I, I mean, I do like the Fruity Loops and the Cotton Candy Marshmallow. But there was just this undertone that I just could not escape. It was just there the whole time. And I will say with, um, and I do want to say really quick too, with Tiffany Candles, I did not notice an undertone. Haley's Heavenly Scents, no undertone. Bathing Garden did not detect any sort of undertone. Two-timing um, two Tart, no undertone. Bathing Garden, no weird undertone. Super Tarts, no undertone. So I do have a friend that thinks uh, Super Tarts has kind of a perfumey undertone. And so now I'm like, every time I smell, I'm like, do I smell perfume in here? Like, do I smell perfumey now? <laughs> so I do think, hmm. sorry, I had to drink. I do think that after a while, if you warm the same vendor for a while, you do start to pick up on undertones. But just for this week only, the only one that really, like, as far as undertone, really was, like, getting to me was the front porch one. I don't know why. Strong throw on that one, but anyways. I'm trying to get through my Wilma's and my Shays and my Long King Primitives so I can finish those vendors out. So, Wilma, Pink Lemon Biscotti. This one, to me, was just your pretty basic pink sugar lemon bakery type of, uh, what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say here? It was just basic. Um, it was mostly pink and lemon with just a hint of bakery. So, I don't know. I feel like I'm getting into more complex scents. This one did pretty good though. I do believe I put this in my kitchen and I think this one I warmed pretty much at the beginning of my warming stages so that's why I'm a little bit unsure of what the scent throw was on here. Actually was this the day that I threw in like three different ones in the kitchen and let me see. No. Okay that wasn't. Okay so this one yeah this one was uh this one actually did pretty good in my kitchen because it was only two ounces or no 1.5 ounces and my kitchen is kind of it's kind of hard to get a throw in. Uh Wilma's is kind of I was kind of okay I'm losing my train of thought. I think the bleach is starting to affect me because I can't even like spit out words. So Wilma's I believe when I had reviewed some of her stuff before I had gotten a strong throw so that might be something to look into. So one day I was just frustrated and I was wanting to get through these scent shots just because I just really just wanted to get through them. So I threw in three different scent notes in my kitchen and I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to stick my nose over them and or walk in the room and see which one dominates the most. So this blueberry cheesecake from Shay's Scents it had a light throw. I couldn't really smell anything off of this one. And I don't think that one is this old. And it kind of has a little bit of a... Like, I remember it had kind of a weird undertone to it. So I did not like that one. I have had some shades before. There were a few scents from shades that I did really enjoy. But I would probably only go back for a select few. Now, out of the three that I was warming in my kitchen, this one came out the strongest. This is from Wilma's, again, Iced Orange Zucchini. And this is a, um, mostly was a bakery zucchini. The orange was not overly dominant in this at all. It was very strong, but it was light on the orange. So, even though you can pick up a bit, uh, orange in the scent shot, I just remember it being a very strong zucchini scent. Ba uh, bakery, not the zucchini. I think her zucchini isn't. I think it's probably more on the spicy side than the creamy side. So there's that. And then the other one that I warmed also is this Shea Scents Pink Loops. This one was a medium throw in my kitchen. This is just your basic pink sugar and Fruit Loops scent. Yeah, this one was pretty good. I remember at the time, like I said, I'm getting into more complex scents now. 
And I'm just kind of bored with ba basic things like this. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. I guess maybe your nose kind of changes a little bit. Okay, so this one was pretty good, although it's not one of my scent like favorites, but it did pretty well in my daughter's bathroom Scentsy plug-in warmer. This is Bella Mort, Bella Mort from the Bathing Garden. This was just a small sample. Actually, it did pretty well. Again, this is another one. Oh yeah, this is 0.5 ounces, by the way. So not a very big sample at all. This is another one that, as it kept warming, like I have a like I don't like changing out that warmer in my daughter's bathroom at all. It's, I use the cotton ball method and it's just kind of a pain. So I hate changing out that warmer. So I will leave scents in there for a really long time. And I kept finding as I kept turning this one on, that just seemed to get stronger, like the longer it kept warming in there. So this is black fruits with vanilla, hints of ozone and crisp greens, yes. So this is a Lush Comforter duplication and I typically don't like Lush. I don't like, I don't like duplications anymore and especially from Lush and wax for some reason, I just don't. I don't know why, I just like them in bath and body form better. I think they smell better. So I wasn't expecting to like love this one but this one was actually pretty good. You could get a lot of that dark fruit note was mostly what I got and that vanilla really shined through as well. So, I mean, it wasn't like super strong on vanilla, but the, the dark fruits was mostly what I got. Do I think it smells like the comforter? Not really. I have a comforter bar. I should have smelled it before I did this, um, before I did this uh, warm melts. Okay, I did forget a super tarts here as well. This one did really awesome. This is pan, so this is Ocean Water Supernova Lush Type Sweet Cit Citrus Strawberry Slices. Okay, let's, <laughs> oh boy. Okay, this was like a sweet ocean water to me, but like I, and I was just saying that I don't like Lush dupes and wax, but this one, there's something about this one. I didn't know if I was gonna like it, but I actually kind of did. It's like an ocean water for sure, but it was, and you could smell the strawberry in there as well, but there's kind of like a sharpness to it. And I think it's from that supernova. I don't know, it just smells like a really different ocean water than anything I've ever smelled before. So this one was really interesting. It's If you want a different ocean water type scent, this is a good one to go for because it's just different than any other ocean scent that I've ever smelled. Like I have Finnick, and I think it smells a million times different than Finnick, like the ocean scent. And I think it's just that supernova and the strawberry in there. It was pretty good. It was strong as well. I did this in my kitchen. I think I did like two cubes. I think I did three cubes each time in my kitchen and it was nice and strong. I really enjoyed that one as well. And I wasn't sure that I was going to. Okay, let's get back to the bathing garden. Sorry about that. So this one is, it's always tea time. And I think I got this from Maureen a while ago. I don't know how long she had it, but uh, the clamshell was holding up fine. There's, you know, there was no damage to the clamshell. Sometimes with clamshells, you get that weird funky softness. This was a medium throw and I think it was mostly a floral tea scent to me. I had a little bit of trouble smelling this one that, that well. I did it in my daughter's Scentsy Warmer. And it was black tea, honey, tart lemon, cardam and cardamom was I think mostly the scent description. So two cubes and it was okay. Like I don't know that I love tea scents. I feel like it was mostly a floral tea. It had some really pretty like lavender buds on it I believe as well. So that was kind of cool. But uh, yeah, it was not something that I felt like I would need again. Okay, we're almost done here. So I have this from Long King Prim Primitives. This is Key Lime Noel Blue Ribbon Cookies. This one, fortunately, I don't really like lime that much, but, okay. but on this one, there wasn't a lot of Key Lime happening. It was mostly Noel Blue Ribbon Cookies. So. This one was a medium throw. Now with Long Cane Primitives, I've typically had 
from what I've learned from her, really strong throw. This one for me just wasn't that, it wasn't that strong. I think I did two of the, her grubbies are a little bit different than anyone's I've ever seen. And I don't really know what they're called actually, but I could smell, I could smell it. It just wasn't as strong as some of the other things that I have warmed from her. So I mostly got blue ribbon cookies and a, like a creamy blue ribbon cookies. The key lime was either like non-existent or is like over dominated by the blue ribbon cookies and Noel. So uh, she does have a good blue ribbon cookies though. And I do believe I have some other things like from her that are like this kind of scent, but without the key lime. So I'll be getting to warm reviews on those. So, okay, so these are kind of the older things that I have. I just have three more things here. These were like the first things I warmed because like I said, I was trying to get through these really quick. Uh, so Wilma Loopy Sugar Cakes. This was birthday cake with Fruit Loops. It was 1.6 ounces. It was two mustaches, I believe. And I feel like this one fizzled out pretty quick. I couldn't really smell the Fruit Loops, but I mostly got the sponge sugar. Oh yeah, there's sponge sugar in here as well. Birthday cake and yeah, I just put that it fizzled out pretty fast. So I'm trying to remember, I think I did this in my kitchen and it was kind of a medium scent throw. I, could, I remember I couldn't really smell it too strongly. So yeah, not a lot of, um, not a lot of Fruit Loops in that one. I don't know why. Okay. This one, okay, Wilma, Wilma's Mediterranean Spa. This was also, I think these were mustaches as well. Okay, sorry, I kind of forgot where I was. I think I was on this Mediterranean Spa from Wilma's. And this was 1.6 ounces in mustaches. There were two. And I think I did this in the computer room. Yeah, so this was floral and fresh. Like I was kind of thinking it would be Scentsy Mediterranean Spa, but it was completely different. So <laughs> kind of failed on that one. This was floral and fresh, but I put it was kind of an old lady smell. So let me see if I can just take a whiff of it. This was like one of the first ones I melted. Yeah, this is... This is not one of my favorite scents just because it kind of has that, and I don't want to say old lady like in a bad way. It's just got that floral, like kind of musty floral scent. So yeah, that's not one that I would repurchase. And the last one I have, whoops, just tore off the, I keep my little notes on here. This is from Shay's Scents, Mom's Lemon Meringue Pie. This was a tart lemon, and with a little bit of like creaminess to it. This had a good throw. I used, there were six of her, I think they're like her starburst hearts or something. Is it what she calls them? I, don't, I can't remember right now. But I did, I think they were about three ounces. No, what, how many ounces were there? I know I did three at a time. I put one in one warmer, one in the other, and then I cut one in half and then split it between the two warmers. So I think it turned out to be about 1.5 ounces for each warmer on this one. So yeah, does that, is that making sense? I don't know. Anyways, it was a good throw. So where was I going with this? The only thing is, this is another one that's just kind of like a typical, it's kind of a basic scent that you can find anywhere. It's not really, I don't know, it's just not complex or whatever. So Shea Scents I've had mixed results with. I, you know, I really didn't have a lot either of Shea Scents to really do a good review. Wilma's is kind of the same way, kind of mixed. But again, I don't warm through their stuff that much. So like if you were to go back and look through like my other warm reviews, like on the bathing garden, you would see that I had mixed reviews on bathing garden. I have mixed reviews on everything. Like some vendors, you just get some strong ones and sometimes you don't get as strong. So keep that in mind. I'm not saying anything bad about Shays or Wilma's whatsoever. So it's just the ones that I, warmed through this week I had hit they were kind of hit or miss for me so that is all for my warm reviews for this week and yeah so I'm still steadily warming through stuff I've 
went ahead and uh, actually I've got all my warmers in the freezer now and I'm getting ready to restart my warm reviews. So hopefully I'll be a little bit more consistent with them now that school's back in session and I can kind of, like I really like to keep better notes and not let it go so long because I feel like if I let it go longer than a week, then I'm forgetful. So anyways, I just do the best I can. But hopefully you guys got something out of this and at least I knew my favorites. I, I will say that. At least I knew the strong ones and I rem remembered my favorites. So yeah, definitely. So I will see you guys in the next video. I have a couple hauls to do and then I, of course, Super Tarts is coming, <laughs> is coming up next. Always. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.